Okay. So in this talk, we'll consider one of the cases of uh, determining the radius and interval of convergence of a power series, summation a k x to the k. Now we are considering the case where the coefficients are growing or decaying exponentially, but it's not necessarily a pure exponential thing. So it could be something like exponential times sub exponential. Okay. In which case the exponential part is determining the growth rate, but the sub exponential part, what does that help determine? So the exponential part, so if your coefficients are an exponential function, so like 2 to the k times sub exponential thing, like a polynomial in k, then the exponential part determines the what? The radius, the radius of convergence. The radius of convergence will be 1 over the growth rate of the exponential part. Mm -hmm. And what about the interval of convergence? Like the endpoints, who determines the endpoints? The sub exponential part. Okay, the part that's left over when you've taken out the pure exponential. Okay, and 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 how the endpoints are included that essentially still follows from the degree difference test. Okay, which hopefully you should have seen the video with the sub exponential growth DK before this. And in that we we did the uh, rules for sub exponential. So if it is purely sub exponential, the radius convergence would be one. And if it's a rational function, then the degree difference tells you whether to include the endpoints minus one and one. Okay. But now we have exponential times sub exponential. The radius of convergence is no longer necessarily one. Mm -hmm. But whether to include the endpoints, that rule is still the same degree difference test. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now instead of the endpoint being minus one and one, there's something else. Okay. Let's try to add, let's try to do some examples. And the first example I'll explain it in full detail, just so you. Okay, this one. So I'm not writing where the summation starts and ends. Maybe I could write it here. But uh, let's say zero to infinity. It doesn't matter as far as determining convergence is concerned. Okay, so what's the exponential part within this within the coefficients? Hmm? What part? What part of the coefficient is exponential in k? The 3 to the 2k. So, and it's in the denominator, so uh -huh. it's this thing. Okay. What's the group, what's the rate at which this is growing? What, what thing to, like, what's the base to the power of k gives you this? 1 over? Exponential. Yeah, it's exponential, but what's, what's the growth rate for these? 0. Like, no, what, what thing to the power of k will give you 1 over 3 to the 2k? I mean, basically, you have to use this this thing. You have to do one. Over, you have to find limb soup of this to the one over k. Yeah. So what's this thing to the one over k? It is going to zero. Now one over three to the two k to the one over k is not going to zero. What well, What do you mean? I'm trying to figure out the, this this thing. So the polynomial part doesn't affect the growth rate, but this yeah, thing this is exponential decay. Yeah. It's exponential decay, but but what I'm interested in is what is the a, what is this to the one over k going to? Because that's the exponential decay rate, right? Mm -hmm. So what is one over three to the two k to the one over k? Right, that's the that's this thing. Okay. That's the rate of decay. So what's that? Hmm? It's one over three squared. One over nine, right? And now, what will the radius of convergence be? Radius of convergence is a reciprocal of that, mm -hmm. right? So the the coefficients are decaying roughly at like one over nine powers of one over nine. Mm -hmm. So so the the radius of convergence is a reciprocal of that. So the radius of convergence is nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, now you could see the sort of see that directly. If you put x equal to nine. Then, then the nine to the k and three to the two k will cancel, mm -hmm. right? If you put x bigger than nine, then then you then the numerator is a bigger exponential than the denominator. Mm -hmm. So that would mm -hmm. put less than nine or absolute value less than nine, then then it converge. Okay. But at nine, those are the endpoints, right? And now the endpoint behavior, what we said here is that that is basically given by the degree differences. Why? Because when you put x as nine, then the exponential part exactly cancels and you're just left with the polynomial part mm -hmm. whose convergence you determine using the degree differences. So in this case, what do you expect? The degree differences? One. One. So what do you get? Close on the left and open on the right. So it's a lot like this rule here. But now the radius of is nine, not one. 
Okay, now the next one you should be able to tell me. So what is the what are the what's the growth rate of the coefficients? Or three down to the yeah, I mean, like if you do this a k to the one over k, what will this thing give you? Right? Again, you ignore all the sub sub exponential part. So what's it? What's the lim limit of a k to the one over k? Zero. No, it's not zero. This so so this is the part, right? When you raise when you raise the co what's the coefficient here? It's two to the k. Mm -hmm. When you raise that to the power one over k, what do you get? One one half. Now two to the k to the one over k is two. Right? So the radius of convergence is one half. Okay, good. So now you tell me what happens to the end points. It's both open. Why are they both open? Because the array difference is an active one. Okay, so or another thing is when you plug in either of the endpoints, then you just get like, something where. Okay, the last one. So this one you should tell me without any hints from me. For just the radius of convergence. <laughs> okay. It is the radius? No, just first tell me the growth rate, then you tell me the reciprocal that will be the radius. So what's the rate at which the coefficients are growing? Two square root of two over. Where do you get the square root? So oh. How do you get square root? There is no square root. So what you need to do, you need to raise this thing to the power of 1 over k. Raise the coefficient to the power of 1 over k. So what will you get? 2 over, over 25. 2 over 25. Right? So you have 2 over k to the 5 over 2k. Are we here? Mm -hmm. So what is the radius of convergence? 25 over 2. 25 over 2. Now, is it closed at the endpoints? Yes. Both of them? How do you get that? Degree difference. Degree difference only on the polynomial point, mm -hmm. only on the sub point. Mm -hmm. We give this two, so it's closed at both endpoints. Okay. So basically, what I'm saying is you have to do this thing, link so calculation. Mm -hmm. But what I'm essentially saying is that when you're doing the limb sub calculation, you can ignore the polynomial part. You only care about the exponential things. You only care about the 2 to the k and the 5 to the 2k. Okay, and that's giving you 2 over 25, then you reciprocate that you get 25 over 2. But when you have to figure out whether the endpoints are included, then you only are considering the sub-exponential part because the exponential parts already cancel out, right? When you plug in either endpoint, the exponential stuff will all cancel and you're just left with the sub-exponential. Okay.